Now to a troubling story involving one of America's most successful filmmakers. Ryan Coogler is best known as the director of films like Black Panther and Fruitvale Station. But in January, he found himself being handcuffed at a Bank of America in Atlanta. It turns out he was falsely detained after a teller mistook him for a bank robber. Bank of America has apologized. Molalengi has more. Minutes after passing a note to a bank teller asking her to be discreet over a money withdrawal, filmmaker Ryan Coogler is approached by police. Hey, sir. Hey, man. Let me a favor, man. Come this way. Both of the officers draw their weapons before placing handcuffs on a surprised Coogler. They were there responding to a possible bank robbery in progress. Coogler was in a Bank of America branch in Atlanta where he's been filming the sequel to Black Panther. According to the police report, Coogler passed a withdrawal slip to a bank teller with a note written on the back asking her to be discreet when handing him $12,000 in cash. After being cuffed, Coogler was escorted to a squad car. If you just run my name, you understand why you should take me off these cuffs. C O O Z O E R. Just put it in Google. From the back seat of the squad car, Coogler explains to police he was trying not to call attention to himself in withdrawing such a large amount of cash. If I don't write down on a note how much I want out, and then I don't want it ran through the money counter right there at the desk, the whole bank ends up looking at me. Coogler was uncuffed minutes later. CBS News reached out to Bank of America and didn't hear back. But a spokesperson told Variety, we deeply regret that this incident occurred. It never should have happened, and we have apologized to Mr. Coogler. Through a rep, Coogler told CBS News, this situation should never have happened. However, Bank of America worked with me and addressed it to my satisfaction, and we have moved on. For CBS Mornings, Mola Lange. It's unfortunate because I know Ryan Kluger was thinking if I give her my withdrawal slip, fill out everything and just on the back say be discreet because I don't want everybody in the bank see me walking out with $12,000 for my own safety. Mm -hmm. I feel like he did everything right. He did everything right. And Bank of America says it should not have happened. Mm. That's the bottom line. Can you imagine being detained for taking out your own money? I cannot. But sadly, it happens. Mm -hmm. And even if you're a famous director, uh, it can happen to you. And we all know why. Yeah, no doubt about it.